Zobris, high and deep, way back, gone! It's sort of like the American dream, like getting to do what you love when you don't necessarily have to, you know, you don't, on a monetary scale, maybe you don't need to continue to play baseball, um, but you love the game, you love what you do, I love to perform, people ask me that a lot, like, you don't have to be working, you're married to a professional baseball player, why would you keep working, you know, you're a mom, and I'm like, I never want to be the woman that's just living for the five o'clock glass of Pinot Noir, it's not going to be me. experienced the game together and um, along the way uh, you know she was able to develop her music career and, and that door started to swing open so it's been it's been really fun to be able to both pursue our, our passions outside of um, each other but with each other. We are always encouraging each other when things get hard um, bringing each other back to why are we doing what we're doing what's the reason behind this how do you tackle what's laying ahead of you and continue moving on. They're very similar, baseball and music. We talk about the, the anxiety, we talk about the, the focus, the preparation, the hard work that it takes, and then um, really kind of finally having it all come together uh, at the moment that you really need to perform, being able to do that. And um, there's a certain mindset, a certain mental makeup that you have to have that uh, to be able to do it. And she certainly got it, and um, you know I've got it, and we've been able to kind of swap notes and compare things at different times. While both Juliana and Ben are successful in their careers, the root of it all is the love they share, complementing each other perfectly in and out of the home. I call him still waters run deep. He is consistent through and through. He is like the black and white to my rainbow of color. She definitely has always been the artistic, creative, um, fun, exciting, uh, colorful, personality in the family. You have to have that combination of two. At times I can be the the uh, um, party pooper or the you know the the black and white and and um, you know but I think sometimes the clarity that I bring to a situation um, you know helps helps us as a family make a decision. On the field I am so impressed with the way that he's always able to put aside his own stats and his his own glory, if you will, for the sake of the team. If the team wins, that's what he cares about. The pair have the unique experience of each having a fan base, albeit separate because of their different career paths. So social media is a great avenue to connect, though the Cubs second baseman wasn't exactly sold on the idea at first. I was always like forcefully against it for a long time, um, realizing kind of she needed to do it with music but I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to have any part of it. And um, you know, over the years, she's made me realize the value that, that there is in, in um, you know, reaching your fans in that way. This is real life. You know, this is what we do. This is our in and out. It's, it's very similar to everybody else's. Um, I love the opportunity to share my heart with fans. I'll run by things by her now. I'm like, should I say this or not? You know, and she'll give me her opinion. So th that kind of stuff is just, uh, it's vitally important, but um, you know, it's it's fun to be able to um, share some things with fans that you wouldn't normally get to share person to person. It's in a way a little bit of a gift back to them. Like, thank you for your support. Thank you for your love for our family and, and embracing an entire Zobris family and not just Ben Zobris the player. On the field, the Cubs have embraced the target of World Series expectations all season. And in the Zobris household, they have too. Not shying away from the possibility of ending professional sports longest drought. We're not afraid of talking about it. Ben and I are very open about goals that we have and that was no doubt one reason that we signed with the Cubs why he wanted to play for this team was that elusive Cubs championship 108 years of pent up <laughs> whatever you would call it hoping for that to happen um, I just hope we survive it when it does happen <laughs> the stadium doesn't burn down <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> It's such a fun thought, but at the same time, it's a little scary. I mean, it's been 
a long time since that's happened. And, and uh, you know, this fan base is going to have, uh, you know, a heyday if that happens. So, you know, I think, um, you know, from her perspective, she knows her job is to take care of the kids. And, you know, I think the security is probably going to help, um, you know, certain things like that. But we're, we're just thinking, like, man, life already is, is pretty awesome. And this city, the way they, they've embraced us um, as a family, uh, I can't imagine what it, what it would be like um, if we were able to bring a championship here, which is our ultimate goal. So if that happens, you know, I, I can imagine, um, you know, being around the city of Chicago, people are going to love us even more.